Happy birthday to Take it away, Amanda! Uh, uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, come on, it's Sarah's birthday. Let's hear you sing. Sing, 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 sing. Come on, Beyonce. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Anyway, who wants some cake? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's not easy being the minority in any situation, but in the workplace, as the only black woman, it can be a very frustrating and stressful environment. Okay, Yonce. Now let's get information for this kick. I'm just in the middle of something. I'll be there in a sec. Oh, grr. <laughs> And that, my friend, is an example of a microaggression. So what is a microaggression? Brief, commonplace, daily verbal, behavioural or environmental indignities, whether intentional or unintentional, that communicate hostile, derogatory or negative prejudicial slights and insults towards any group, particularly culturally marginalised groups. That's right. I've read up on this. It felt so good to be able to label that behaviour, to give a name to the underlying stress and discomfort that comes from being confronted by microaggressions. He means well, but that's what makes these aggressions, well, micro. Intent is not the same as impact, and a throwaway comment or joke can have a huge impact on the rest of someone's day. I spoke to some friends about their experiences in the workplace. How does it make you feel? So we talked a lot about like these microaggressions, out and out racism, like in the workplace, how does that make you feel? Um, I know that I definitely feel kind of other, very separate to an extent that I don't talk about any kind of black experiences I have outside of work. Some of the things that I don't like are those sweeping statements. Has anybody got an umbrella? Debbie will have one because black people <laughs> don't like to get their hair wet. Right. Yeah. And here is the kitchen where we really get things cooking. <laughs> but seriously guys, this space is used by everyone, so just be mindful about throng filling booths. Right, up next, the photocopiers. I'm always like super polite, super kind, super cordial. Everyone's like, oh, Essie's super friendly, but sometimes I do just want to like snap back at somebody or get annoyed and I feel like I can't. I feel like the second I display passion for doing a good job, yeah. people are like, whoa, 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 whoa. That was great, Amanda. I'm not sure the figures are quite accurate though. Uh, actually, I double checked them with finance to make sure and they're spot on. Whoa, girlfriend, maybe dial down the sass a little? Uh, for a lot of my white colleagues, uh, they're quite happy to just have all these discussions about racism, but because it doesn't affect them emotionally, whereas for me, it's, it's quite difficult to hear those conversations because it's like, I've lived through a lot yeah. of that and I, I'm just trying to do my work and you're bringing up these really difficult issues for me. Oh, Amanda, thank God. Explain to Sarah what the Black Lives Matter movement is. All jokes aside, it can be very difficult when you find yourself on the receiving end of this kind of behaviour. So, what can you do about it? Well, I have a few ideas. Firstly, set up the situation. Kate, you know when you took us on that tour the other day? Next, objectively describe the behaviour and get clarification. You asked me to explain the Black Lives Matter movement. Why did you ask me? Next, and this is the most important bit, explain the impact. If you want the behaviour to stop, people need to know why. John, when you use phrases like, whoa, girlfriend, or describe me as sassy, it feels like you're accusing me of being aggressive and makes me worry about showing my opinions. But I haven't seen you do this to any other members of the team. Final step, do differently. Work together to come up with solutions to ensure that you do things differently in future. Uh, to be completely honest, I hate singing on my own, and I don't think it's fair to put someone on the spot like that. Self-selected solos from now on? Right. Yeah. Okay. It's not always going to be that easy. 
but hopefully these tips will provide some helpful navigation through difficult situations. And if things don't improve, or if you don't feel comfortable confronting a colleague, talk to your boss, HR or union rep. Racial discrimination at work is illegal. It's everyone's responsibility to think about the impact that their words might have on someone else. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a party to get back to. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the cake? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to check out these videos next. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get a notification each time we upload a new video.